Mr. Carr, you, you, you are a, an expert in the um, evolution and, say, future possible architecture of IT information technology systems. Uh, what, 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 what's your opinion about the future, uh, not trends, but uh, which are the weak signals that we, are, we can already uh, read yeah. today and in order to understand what's going to happen in the near future, say, five to ten years? Yeah. Well, I think, I, I think it's good to remember that computers, computer systems, are still a very young technology. Um, in a lot of... Uh, that's forced companies that use them and even individuals that use them to kind of learn as they go. And, and I think what that's resulted in is a lot of uh, complexity, a lot of expense, a lot of difficulty in using uh, the computer systems to do anything you might want them to do. And so I think, I think what we're going to see is uh, quite a lot of changes in that as uh, the technology matures, and I think already we're seeing signs that the current model of information technology, which is that every company operates its own, you know, computer systems, and they're all different, and it's very diff difficult to integrate them, uh, to integrate them both within a company and the systems of different companies. Uh, we're moving away from that world, uh, and technologies are advancing that allow. Uh, particularly through standardization of some basic um, uh, software and hardware that will allow technology to be used, information technology to be used much more flexibly. So you won't have to, to buy, as companies do now, whenever they want to introduce a, a new piece of software, they often have to uh, dedicate new hardware to running that software, and, and so they have little islands of software applications that are very difficult to join together. Um, right. Sorry to interrupt you. It seems to me that we, sh we should talk of I today's IT complication instead of complexity. Because complexity is, is something that is pretty simple, right? It's simple in its basic components, but then the possible right. variation are, are extremely high and, and, old po and extremely flexible, too. Yeah. Is, is that the case? I think so. Although, uh, you know, it, there are... in so I think at a hardware level, it's fairly simple. I mean, you have digital code that you need to store somewhere and you need to run through a processor. It's basically fairly easy. Um, at the software level, I think it gets more complex. But I, I think the goal should be that that complexity and the complicatedness becomes hidden from the user. The way it happened with, say, electricity, where, you know, when you... You can run all sorts of different things off electricity, so at that level it's very complex in, in a way, but the electricity itself has become very simple because it's supplied through uh, a central utility using standards that everyone obeys, and so you plug into the wall. I mean, I think the same thing needs to happen with information technology, that the complexity of the machinery is hidden from the user, and so we break apart the, the infrastructure that supplies this technology with the use of this of the technology. Up till now, they've been joined together, and that's really where the complications. What, what kind of breakthrough are you envisaging? It, 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 it's a technical, technological breakthrough. It's going to be an organizational or, or a competent skills ability breakthrough. I think it's both. I, I mean, already um, we're seeing the technology evolve to the point where uh, you can you can supply basic computing functions and even complicated software from a distance through a central supplier. But I think the, the hard part will come uh, from the people side. Um, organizations are very used to controlling their own computer systems, maintaining them themselves. What's going to be difficult